Okay, we're here in northern Chicago where we're supposed to be meeting with Drew Diesner and his wicked 72 Nova. He told him to meet us here, but for the life of me, I don't know where he is. So, I don't know, Thad, any ideas? Tommy, anything? I don't know. Oh, wait. All right. Yeah, Drew, Drew's over there. Northern Chicago and his Wicked 72 Nova. Now, there are certain cars that I want to film, certain cars that I want people to know about. I first heard about your car, I guess about three or four years ago. It's a 72 Nova, packing a little extra punch under the hood. A little bit. And it's just, it's the definition of the sleeper car, the ultimate definition of the sleeper car. Well, why? Give me, give me a reason. Tell everybody why this thing is so badass. Why not? <laughs> well, the guy that built the car, I didn't build the car. The car was built by a gentleman named Kurt Urban, which at that time had a shop in the Detroit area called Kurt Urban Performance, right. or Wheel to Wheel. Now okay. he's Kurt Urban Performance. He actually went through and did what we all dream of doing. Yeah. Everybody sits around with their buddies and drinks beer and talks about how they would build the ultimate sleeper. This gentleman actually set about doing it. Yeah, and he, he actually did it in spades. I mean, so yes. what, what do we got power in this thing? Uh, it's a twin supercharged LS motor <laughs> with uh, water to air intercoolers. Okay. And, uh, makes almost 1,200 horsepower. For those that don't know, I mean, it's, it looks, when you, when you go to car shows, I mean, obviously, it, the, all the paint, everything is original, patina is original. So what are people's first reaction? They look at the car and go, well, why did you bring this here? Exactly, when, especially at a cruise night, uh, I'll stand back and watch people's reactions. Right. And, they walk up on it like, why is this guy wasting the space? Why is the car here? But then when they get a little closer and see the under hood, right. then their jaws drop a little. Right, and right, then right. as they continue to go around and look at the rest of the car, they start scratching their head in disbelief. <laughs> so what's it like owning a car that runs nines and a quarter, incinerates tires that are that big at will? And just, I mean, because this has got to be like, this is a play toy. This, oh, is, this is a toy. It's a toy. It's a toy. I mean, but I drive it back and forth to work. I mean, you can do anything you want with this car. So the next question. So can we go for a ride? Oh, absolutely. Can I drive it? Absolutely. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Have fun and don't get arrested. That's the words that Drew Diesner said to me as I climbed behind the wheel of his 1972 Nova. Now, have fun and don't get arrested can mean many things. It can mean don't get arrested when you go out drinking. I mean, don't get arrested if you're, I don't know, doing naughty things in the back seat of a car. In this case, what it means is, don't get arrested driving my 1,200 horsepower Nova on the back streets of Chicago. This thing is what you would call a sleeper. I would actually call it a super sleeper. A 1,200 horsepower LS Block Page Nova, twin supercharged, with the capacity to basically incinerate any set of tires that's put behind it, and any automobile that comes up next to it. This car will run nine second quarter miles. It's obscene. It's not a show car. It's got some dings. It's got some patina on it. And it's uh, on friggin' rail. What's it like to drive a 1200 horsepower twin supercharged Nova? Pretty, pretty cool. As far as the, uh, the steering is concerned, there's really not much of it. I mean, it's manual steering and you gotta freaking crank it to get this sucker to turn. You also gotta realize that under your right foot, it's a big red button. It's the same button that the guys at the missile silos have. You push that button, Man, you better be prepared to hold on because I'll be honest with you. This thing goes. <laughs> now, it's that was like, I don't know, maybe eight throttle or whatever it is. You also gotta realize like the steering. This is the steering. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but we're still going straight, and I'm doing this. I don't know if I want to road race this thing. I think that's a little out of the spectrum of, you know, possibility. But 
on any other day, I mean, if you were to drive us, aside from all the noise you hear, yeah, this dirt's pretty on par with any 72 Nova you're ever gonna drive. This is something that, if you're a car guy, and you, for some reason, overlook this car, or you see this episode and you're like, oh, I would never want one of those, let me tell you something, you're an idiot. Because this is the definition of hot rodding. This car is the epitome of a muscle car. 1,200 horsepower, straight line, nine second quarter mile, and all the F you it can dish out at any given moment. Unbelievable, simply unbelievable. Looking in the trunk, you can see there are two tanks. One is filled with race fuel, the other with water for the intercoolers. However, bags of ice have been known to make their way inside on long trips. And of course, great care was taken to make sure the interior was period correct as well by way of a Mexican throw blanket and genuine Chicago dirt from the bottom of Drew's shoes. You know, you start looking around and you see how well everything is integrated. The roll cage is fantastic. I mean, it goes right along the roof line, the windshield line, and then down the, uh, the beat pillar. So anybody who's coming up next to you can't tell what this car really, really is. The other thing is, if you look up here, this lever right here, this is a switch for a parachute, just so you know. This guy is following us, and he looks to be an official something or other. So I want to see if he's going to pull us over. He might. This might be Big Muscle's first pullover. I don't know yet. We'll see. It's very possible we might be getting hassled by the man. That's right. Man. Uh-oh. And somebody... Oh, here we go. How are you, sir? <laughs> I've seen this one at Mundelein, so I'm like... <laughs> oh, so you're a fan! Oh, yeah! Oh, he's a fan! <laughs> Alright, so, um... We kind of got pulled over, in a matter of speaking, except... Guy got out, security uniform, I'll arrest you type hat, and the Glock on his hip. He got out, he looked at the car, started laughing. He goes, this is that Nova I've seen. That crazy Nova. So, did we get pulled over? Yes. But we just got pulled over by the coolest hot rod security guard I've ever met. <laughs> this car, the great thing about a Nova is that everybody knows a Nova. If you, if you grew up in the 70s or the 80s, I can almost guarantee either somebody in your family had a Nova, a teacher of yours had a Nova, or maybe you had one. I mean, this is the ultimate kind of blue collar car. Because of that, they sold millions of these things. And to this day, they're still all over the place. Now, this was not like a Nova SS 396 or anything like that. This is just a plain Jane Nova. To have anything that looks like this with a motor like this that's reliable is, is pretty amazing. I mean, you gotta remember, this thing has done the Hot Rod Power Tour. It's done Drag Week. For, for what this car is and what it does, it's amazing. Think about this thing. You pull up to a line, drag race against the Bugatti Veyron, you're winning. Now, what you can't see also is it's got a flipping parachute back there. Parachute! The power is addictive. It's like start, when you start it up, it's like smoking weed, and then all of a sudden you're like, I think I want to go to something heavier. This is like marijuana, cocaine, meth, plus every stripper you've ever met with a cherry on top. So we just rolled into this thing a little bit. We didn't even explore the potential of this thing. And I'll be honest, I'm not going to go fuck wild in a 1,200 horsepower car that's not mine. Drew, on the other hand, said he has no problem doing that for us. In fact, his response when we said, what can you do with the car? He said, I'll do anything you want. That's a big statement for guys like us. Anything we want is a lot a lot of stuff that we want to do. So we're going to go pick up Drew and see how much he actually scares the crap out of us in this thing.
So Drew, I gotta thank you again for, for bringing this car out. I mean, not too many guys dream of driving a 72 Nova, but when I first saw this car years ago, I knew one day I would have to find the guy that owned it and just not only talk to him, but I mean, you let us drive it. So thank you so much, dude. Mission accomplished. You're very welcome. Ah, oh, dude, it's been fantastic. Had a good time. Cool. So guys, awesome Nova, awesome day. Stay tuned next week for more Big Muscle on Drive. All right, we're sick and tired of watching Drew Dieter do burnouts. As you can tell by the excitement on Tommy's face, he told us that we had to either put up or shut up. So this is a Toyota Semi Sienna? Sienna. Minivan burnout. Suck it, Drew.